Hello everyone, welcome to Form 4 Additional Mathematics, Chapter 4, Indices, Certs and Logarithms and this is the uh, part 4 video for certs and it, this is also the last part where we are look, uh, looking at the solving problems involving certs. So we look at the first example question here, solve x minus 7 cert x plus 10 equals to 0. So in order to solve this, you have to understand that even though it's given x here, we can see this as the square root x, the square of the square root x. Okay, the square root and the square, if you cancel off, you get x here. Okay, so minus 7 third x plus 10 equals to 0. So if we let a equals to third x, this becomes a squared minus 7 a, because third x is a plus 10 equals to 0 and, and we have ourselves a quadratic equation where you already learned quadratic equation before so we try to solve this uh, we try to factorize this a and then uh, you can factorize this manually or use your calculator to help you and you have this is 5 2 negative negative and don't forget a is actually third x so third x equals to 5 or third x equals to 2 and x equals to when the third root when the square root you bring it here it becomes squared you get 25 so x to to the power of 2, x equals to 4. So the answer is x equals to 25 or x equals to 4. So for this part here, if you have uh, done a few questions, you are familiar with this, you don't have to let a equals to third x. You can straight away rewrite this whole thing into third x minus 5 set x minus 2 equals to 0 and then you can further continue from here like what the textbook did we try more questions second question we have 3x minus set at x plus 1 so this is different with the uh, different compared to the first one yeah because the first one you only have x and set x but this one this time the third includes 8x plus 1, it's not x anymore, so we cannot use the first method. Okay, so there are a few ways of doing this. Okay, so, so we rewrite this. We can rewrite this, and then we can multiply the whole expression with the conjugate. So the conjugate for this is 3x, the minus sign becomes positive sign, plus 8x plus 1 that's it and the rest is still the same only change the negative to positive so this part for the right hand side since it's 0 you multiply the same thing you still get 0 so we write 0 here then we try to multiply this 3x times 3x you get 9x squared 3x times this you get positive 3x sub 8x plus 1 then you have this minus 3x 8x plus 1 and then this multiplies this you get negative 8x plus 1 which is equals to 0 so this actually is the same one positive one negative we cancel it you have 9x squared minus this one minus 8x minus Okay, because of minus sign here, minus 1, so minus 8x minus 1. You can see this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this by factorizing it. So you have 9x and x here, we have 1, 1. And then you have minus and plus plus.
So just now I mentioned that there are a few ways of doing this. So look at the second way of doing this. Okay, which is by moving the third to the other to the right hand side. So we can rewrite this like for example 3x equals to when we move this to the right hand side, it becomes positive 8x plus 1. And the third sign we move this becomes squared. 8x plus 1. So squared here you get 9x squared. When you move the 8x and a 1 back here, you get 8x minus 1 equals to 0. And then you can see that this is actually the same here. So you can continue. Now question 3 here, we have two different thirds here and another value here. Okay, to solve this type, also a few ways to do this, but I'll show you. Uh, this method which is by squaring both sides you square both sides so when you square both sides what will happen okay so we rewrite this this multiplies this you get 2x plus 1 then this multiplies this you get okay 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1 using the law of thirds I can rewrite this in this form and then this times this becomes 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 and then this times this you get plus 2x minus 1 equals to 4 so if we perform the multiplication inside here, okay, so uh, the 2x plus 2x, we have 4x, plus 1, minus 1, gone. And then for this, we perform the multiplication, 2x times 2x, you get 4x squared. 2x times negative 1, you get minus 2x, plus 2x. This times this, you get minus 1. The same goes this, 2x times 2x, you get 4x squared, 2x times 1, you get 2x, this times this, you get negative 2x, negative 1 times 1, you get negative 1, equals to 4. This and this cancel, you get 4x plus, this one becomes 4x squared minus 1 this one same cancel here so you have 4x squared minus 4x squared minus 1 so since here is the same we can combine so we can add this you get 2 4x squared minus 1 right? because there are two of this and the 4x here is here so now since there are only one third left we can move everything to the right hand side you get this so this move to the right hand side, you get 4 minus 4x. And then the 2 move here becomes divide by 2. So everything here divide by 2, you get 2 minus 2x. Square root brings here, it becomes squared. So you have 4x squared minus 1 equals to this is Okay, when you expand this, you get this is 2 minus 2x times 2 minus 2x. So 4x squared minus 1 equals to this. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2, negative 2x is negative 4x. This times this, negative 4x. This times this, you get plus 4x squared. This, you get 4x squared minus 1 equals to 4. This one, you have minus 8x plus 4x squared. So I continue at this side. So 4x squared, when you move this here, it becomes 4x squared. When you move this here, it becomes minus 4x squared. Minus 1 equals to 4 minus 8x. So these two cancel off, you get negative 1 equals to 4 minus 8x. And I think you can solve from here, you get negative 1 minus 4 over negative 8 equals to x. So you have 
x equals to 5 over 8 as your final answer. So for the fourth question, question number four, diagram shows a right angle triangle ABC. Determine the area of a triangle. So we first we want to try to find the area, the second we try to find the length of AC, given the sides are in the third form. Okay, so the first one, determine the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle equals to uh, using the formula 1 over 2 times the base length, which is this 5 plus 2 third 2, height times the height, which is 5 minus 2 third 2. Then we just perform the multiplication. Okay, so 1 over 2 here. So 5 times 5, you have 25. 5 times negative 2 third 2, you get negative 10 third 2. Positive 2 third 2 times 5, you get positive 10 third 2 because 2 times 5. And the last one, positive 2 third 2 times negative 2 third 2, you get negative 4 2. Negative 10 third 2 plus 10 third 2 cancel. 25 minus 4 times 2 is 8. So 25 minus 8 is 17. Hence you have 17 over 2 units. Or centimeter squared. So B determine the length of AC. This is a right angle triangle, so it's very obvious we need to use Pythagoras theorem. So AC squared equals to the addition of a square of both sides here, A B and B C. So it's 5 minus 2 squared. 2 here squared plus a third, sorry. So squared. Then we perform these calculations. Five times five is twenty-five. So five times negative two sub two is negative ten sub two. This times this you get negative ten sub two. This times this you get positive four two. Same here. Five plus 2, you get 10, set 2, this times this, you get plus 10, set 2, this times this, you get 4, 2. This and this, we cancel, this and this, we cancel, we left 25 minus 4 times 2 is 8, plus 25, plus 4 times 2 is Sorry, this is a positive here, and then plus 8. 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 66. But remember, AC here is a square, so we need to find the square root of 66. Or if you print the calculator, you will get 8.124 centi. And that concludes our part 3 video for certs. I'll see you in the next part which is the logarithm.